Hoppy2345 back once again, and welcome back to the place on the internet for your daily NBA prospect content. If you're new here, go ahead and press that subscribe button. I post daily, and I show every bet that I place or every prop that I place a bet on either in a video like this or on my community tab in a picture form. So without any further ado, guys, I have seven plays I've already put in today. And for those of y'all that just want to see the play and don't care about the reasoning, I want to say here's the first four. Keep in mind, only take these props if you also agree with them and pair them in your own way. So like here, I have seven props, right, that I just showed you. Well, instead of taking these seven props and saying, oh, this is what he's betting, let me copy it exactly. Take the one you like the best or the two that you really like out of these seven and pair them with some other props you like or if you really like all seven of them or if you really like the way they're paired go ahead and copy me it's your decision but I wanted to get that out the way before I go into the reasoning I also wanted to show these because I know some of y'all don't care about the reasoning you just want to see what props I'm betting so here's the props I'm betting and let's get into the reasoning we'll go to the points tab first since we have quite a few people on there first up we're going to get into Porzingis Bradley Bills out tonight Brooklyn Nets defense sucks he's hit this four games in a row we're taking it here Kyle Kuzma once more Bradley Bill is out again just like uh, he is for Porzingis because they're on the same team. Duh. But uh, Kuzma really steps up a lot when Bill goes out. I mean, Kuzma goes from the third option to maybe the first option when Bill's out. I mean, that might sound weird, but I feel like Kuzma has the ball in his hand more than Porzingis when Bill's out. So Porzingis is kind of like a always a two option. But Kuzma goes from being the third option to the first option. So I really like Kuzma against Brooklyn. In my opinion, he's the first option tonight. Uh, him and Porzingis are really like 1A, 1B. Tim Hardaway at 15.5 points against OKC. He has been crushing this prop lately. I don't know why they have not raised it. He hit it three games in a row. Missed it against Milwaukee and missed it against Chicago. But he has been on a shooting tear. Luka was out against Chicago, so that's like... Uh, him and Luca play a lot of minutes together because Luca lights feeding him for the passes. So I kind of really like the Tim Hardaway 15 and a half points there. Shea Gilders, he's missed this two games in a row, but he's one of the best scorers in the league. So we're taking him to go over 29 and a half in a big game against Luca Doncic. I think he's going to want to go out there and show, hey, I can score with the best of them. Um, so next up, we're going to look at Ann Edwards. Uh, he was on the play that I made last night, and he has went over this almost. Every game out of the last five, and Cat is still out of the lineup. As long as Cat's out of the lineup, we like Ant at uh, 25 and a half. Um, I gotta go see which ones I'm missing here. Sorry, guys. We talked about all those. We talked about all those. We got to talk about Hero and Josh Hart. So Tyler Hero points I took at 20 and a half. And the reasoning behind that is he's been shooting a lot, scoring a lot this year. Jimmy Butler's kind of a laid back guy. He'll, he's a guy that likes to score when it's needed of him. But as far as a guy that actually goes out there and their main objective is scoring, Tyler Hero is that guy for the Heat. So I trust him at 20 and a half more than I trust Bam or Jimmy at 20 and a half. Although Jimmy would be pretty close. And last but not least, let's go over here to the only first half play we have. And it's going to be first half PRA for my main man, Josh Hart, at 11 and a half. He's hit this five games in a row. So, I mean, he's hit this almost a lot of the games out of the year, too. If you go back, all the way back, he's hit this like 70% of the games, I believe. Something like that. But either way, guys, that's all the plays I'm making today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'm sorry for not posting yesterday. I was a little bit busy uh, with some Christmas stuff. So I hope y'all can for uh, understand that. Y'all have a great one. Hoppy 2345. Oh.